Friends, welcome to this edition of the Influencer Talks. Today on the show, we have a yoga guru, Rajiba, as our guest. Rajiba observes and teaches yoga, which is different from his perspective. He claims that he is redefining and demystifying the yoga, the old form of yoga wisdom and old age traditions in yoga, which were taught by Adi Guru thousands of years ago. So let's talk to Rajiba and ask him directly what he means by it. Welcome Rajiba. Welcome to the show. Namaskar. So first tell us Hello. about uh, when you say that you follow the old wisdom and demystify mm -hmm. what the Adi Guru taught. So what do you mean yeah. by it? Uh, as, as I have explained to you already that uh, basically from from academics i am a scientist right right and uh, uh, i thought mm -hmm. that uh, that yoga must have been different from today's yoga which is a kind of workout and it is taken all over the world as a kind of workout right and on the contrary yoga was all about about uh, getting rid of your egos, getting rid of a uh, uh, lot, lot of negativity out of you. But okay. today's yoga, which, which, which is about nourishing your ego, right? It, you, when you become very strong, when you can do a lot of things and all that, you, you have a, a, a ego coming in to yourself that, that you are trying to become a, a superhuman or kind of thing. So, uh, uh, I, I always wanted to do things from a, from a different perspective. So right. I, I thought and I meditated on it for a long time that what kind of yoga the, the rishis and munis have been doing all these years. And I have, I have, I have what I have conceived is, you know, that that time of the yoga, you know, this, this new yoga, which is called we call it asana, which is called which is physical yoga. Yeah. It, it's it's not mentioned much in in the the manuscripts and the old books and all that. You know, right. it it has just came into into the picture something around two hundred years before. You know, a lot of a lot of people like Krishnamurti and a lot of people have already explained this that this kind of yoga was not there before. This has just recently came in. Okay. Right? So that you know. India, we India was a country of of, of this very uh, special wisdom, you know, and uh, we invented a lot of things thousands of years before. We were masters of astrology, you know. All these Vedas have have already explained what we are doing today, right? right? And that time, you know, all these yogis used to just sit mm -hmm. and meditate, right. the higher higher kind of yoga. And they used to conceive, they used to download all, all this information, right? Like astrologically, we were very advanced. Ayurveda way, we were very advanced, you know. And they used to see things. They used to have a vision about all these things. And this is how this information came in. Right. And slowly, slowly, like Ayurveda and like a lot of other things, you know, uh, we, we, we like... Uh, uh, we also gave zero to the world, and that that way we we knew exactly about planetary position and all those things, right. and all the events which come come in astrological things. We we knew it that time without any any uh, modern days equipment like 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 laser telescopes and all right. these things. We knew everything, even thousands of years before. Right. So the yoga was in that form that where you just be in sync with the universe, you know. And uh, uh, we invented a lot of things. We we wrote a lot of lot of books. We wrote wrote a lot of scripts. We wrote all about our body, you know. And uh, uh, that way, that kind of yoga was very totally different. That it was all about knowing yourself. It was all about knowing how to be in sync with the universe. Or in, if you let, let me be more precise, that it was all about. Letting the universe flow through you. 
Ra Rajiva, so, I, yeah. I will just have one question here before we uh, continue Jeez. with your uh, perspective of yoga. See, what you are talking about, one is done by yogi. Yes. But in today's form, what is taught by most of the uh, yoga gurus these days is for masses. Yeah. When you yes. talk that you have to be in a divine uh, form of uh, uh, bodily and uh, mindfully, and, but yoga as a health is mm -hmm. more popular in uh, masses. But can you yeah. expect masses to follow what you are saying, where everything goes divine? Where they have uh, a family? Yes. To, yeah. Okay. Exactly. You know, what I'm saying is that we are not ignoring that dimension of yoga, which is asana, which is totally physical. Right. 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 That, that is also important. Without that, you cannot reach the, the, the higher level. That, that kind of yoga are few earlier steps. You know which you have to go through right and that is all that is oh it also gives you health but the main purpose of that in the olden days were to get out of restrictions of your body you know right that yeah. when you do that physical part right, right. you yeah. are you are you are able to to sit you are able to meditate you are able to make yourself calm when you make yourself calm then you can also make your mind calm you know so when like uh, I, I'll, I'll, expl I'll answer your, this question in a different way that you know in last uh, 30 40 years you know uh, people are doing doing asanas and all that but what after that mm -hmm. so that invented all kind of new yoga you know if you see uh, there are many kind of yoga there 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 is like hot yoga which is becoming famous because people have got got bored with that you, that we have in humans we have a tendency of getting bored with one thing you know? right so and so when they have done all that physical yoga now they they are looking for higher things so people gave them aroma yoga and uh, in some parts they, in germany there is a new yoga which is called beer yoga you know they drink yes. beer with asana <laughs> Yeah. You know, in Canada, there is a, a yoga which is called goat yoga. You know, when you just uh, kneel down and the goat comes and it, it, she does a lot of tricks with you. And so, uh, so this what we are trying to 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 share with the people is that all those all the masses who have done all these things. Suppose you are, you are doing Surya Namaskar, okay, which is right. a series of asanas. Yeah, yeah. So for for how long? If there is no further step from there. How long you can do that? You know, after that you just get out of that simply. Okay. Right. So, uh, the the wisdom we are trying to share is to 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 do that, and then you take yourself further on this journey. Okay. How how, and how, where, how do you define going further? If you could give some example that what you do actually. Yeah. So the 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 uh, the the wisdom we share is called Satya Yoga. And Satya is, is not the same Satya. It is that Satya also, but the, the, the meaning is a little different here. Yeah. The, the Satya word we use is basically comes from the high mountains, you know. Even today, all those people, you know, uh, who do not, old people, okay, like our grandmother and all, yeah. all those ladies and gents, you know, whenever they, they, they feel not so good, you know, yeah. right? They, they say that today, I don't feel too much satya in me, okay? okay? So this satya is the word which is used for the inner force, which keeps the body, mind, and soul in sync. So this satya is a force. It's a, it's a kind of, of unified force which we experience outside. Right. But this is a force within. Okay. And this force makes you stronger. You know, it, it, it keeps the body, mind, and soul in sync, right? And in this yoga, we, we uh, mainly work on our, our cosmic body, you know. Uh, as as I, I, I like to, to explain you that we live in different type of bodies. But to be short and uh, uh, to be more effective, I'll, I'll tell you that we live in three bodies. Right? One is the physical, physical body we, we, we can touch, we can uh, see, we can feel. Right? Then there is a micro body. 
the subtlest part of us, right? And that micro body, you can also relate it with the soul and all that, right? In between that, there's a pure energy body. Okay. Right. And in, in Satya Yoga, we, we work on, on this pure energy body, right? right? And we work on our energy, like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, from the scientific point of view, we say that everything is, everything is energy these days. You know, it was long time back, it was there that there were mass and energy and all that. But in today's modern world, there's only one thing that we all are energies, you know. Yeah. I am energy, you are energy, this house is energy, the river is energy, the mountains are energy, everything is a moving energy, okay? Right. Okay. And we are working on this uh, uh, energy, which is uh, in, our, in us, right? I'll, I'll go further to that uh, mm -hmm. in, in one minute. But when we work on this, this uh, energy, cosmic yeah. energy, okay? Mm -hmm. We work on on a on a very quantum level in, in in different part of the body. Okay, we work with each cell. We work with, with all these uh, energy streams in us. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Which which the yogis have experienced thousands of years before. And today, uh, in some part of the world, they are also called as chakras, but we call them something different. Which uh, I'll go go. Uh, I'll explain you after in case you have anything else to so satya yoga is all about working on your cosmic body and when we work on this cosmic body like here this is the micro body and mm -hmm. this is the physical body right? right and here in the middle this is this is the cosmic body okay right okay so when we work on this cosmic body and the, then uh, it starts giving results it manifests in both sides it, it, it manifests in the physical side mm -hmm. right you become physically strong physically good right and you become uh, it manifests on the subtler part also. Your soul has has more positive data about you. Your soul is is more positive, pure. Like as we all say that when we leave this physical body, what remains here in this universe is the soul. Right. So when you even leave this body, when you go to further any kind of bodies, so your soul, which remains the same, right. has is more purified, it has more data, it is more strong, right? right. It has more chances to be conceived in, in, a, in, a, in a better form of, of, of a body. Right. So, uh, Rajiv, when you say that the body, the soul, and the cosmic body, they come together. So, uh, there are so many uh, points of, you know, skills, what we call it, or you say the talents, which, uh, you know, uh, can uh, get evolved further or what is the use of uh, bringing them together? Very, very good question. You know, yeah. let me explain to you that, uh, and let me explain you about the cosmic body a little further. Okay? I, 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 cosmic... I have asked this question uh, for a layman you know, to understand that if yes, they bring yes, all yes. the sugar, it's uh, what benefit the person will get. That's very important. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. It's 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 another very good question you asked me. Uh, very, very, very important in the sense that. Uh, why we have to do this? Yes. You know? A layman will ask you that why why you have to do Absolutely. this? You know? Absolutely. Yeah. So the uh, you know when we work on our cosmic body, on our cosmic body is is a, a body full energy body, right? It is is it is made of of uh, a network of uh, nadis, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you might have heard that uh, all of us we have seventy two thousand to eighty four thousand nadis in our body. Right. right and these nadis you know they they work different or you know physically uh, we work on a different level but yeah. the, on this inner energy body these nadis they carry all the bioelectric and biomagnetic signals in your body to perform yeah. and these nadis you know which are spread all over our body even a little bit outside of our body they are controlled by 114 junctions it's, you can to understand very easily you can compare this is a rail network, a railroad of a country, right? And where you have all these trains and all that, and this is controlled by stations. Right. And these stations are, are, are there in a different part of the body, but our main uh, part of this body, which, which controls is along our spine. The spine in this, this wisdom is considered as the axis of our universe, axis of our universe. We all of we are all manifesting that big universe through this small body and mind. Right. And the, 
the x the the spine there is the axis of our universe right so uh, our spine has has nine important junctions junctions are a bigger station which are connected to the all the directions right and these junctions which in, which most of the people today say chakras right yeah, yeah. but these are junction these are high density energy areas right okay yeah in, in our body right mm -hmm. and i'll completely change uh, this to come to the very basic level in humans you know the the flow of the energy you know is downwards in all of the humans the flow of the energy is downwards, downwards. which is for the the survival this is for the 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 basic purposes of life is that to survive to to uh, to take uh, generations further right. right to reproduce nature is not interested in us to be enlightened nature is interested in reproduction you know okay. so the flow of the energy uh, when we uh, take birth and afterwards the flow of the energy is all downwards you know and down the lower part of the energy is also called as the animal world so when the energy is in the lower part it is as as good as or you can say as bad as animals you know so you live like the life of an animal when the energy is is no low, lower okay or it is yeah. flowing downwards like what is the difference you know in animals and us we sleep they also yeah. sleep yeah uh, they we eat they also eat right right we mm -hmm. we make children they make children so basically we have uh, in today's world you know with, with all this pollution and with this all modern situation you know they sleep better they eat better right <laughs> they reproduce better you know than 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 most of us you know mm -hmm. so the uh, and then uh, this energy is in the lower part right we our life is also like that you know it's kind it's called as animal world okay, okay. so basically the kind of yoga we, we share which is the ancient yoga it is not we have introduced we have just redefined it okay right. and so in this the you have to change the flow of the energy and make it upwards okay okay all okay, right. you you change the flow of the energy and make it upwards. Yeah. Right, and there are different techniques for that. And when you change the flow of the energy and it starts going penetrating the higher junctions, you know. Right. Yeah. Right. We all all of us are born with one of our junctions stationed at. Whenever we take birth, our energy is stationed at one of the nine junctions. All right. Right. It's already there, unless you you follow this kind of yoga and you try to to elevate it okay, okay. so you you are behaving according to that everyone behaves according to that junction suppose your energy is is, is at the belly you right. behave differently you are totally a different person right when it is at at the heart higher level heart level you are totally a different person so, so what when you are so what you are trying to say uh, rajiv ji is that uh, by doing this kind of yoga, you can actually activate those uh, remaining uh, functions. Of course, okay. when you when you when you work on the energy and when you start elevating this energy, every time it, this energy jumps to a higher level, okay. yeah, you reach a higher level. You start behaving like a higher level. Okay. Right. right. Yeah. So when you do this yoga. The, the end goal is to 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 make the to make the energy reach here right okay. if i can explain you by one of my paintings on the left yeah. right you yeah. see the uh, the the nabi is the center of the life right yeah. and yeah. in this person the the energy is going all the way up to up to the the yeah. topmost part of your head which is right. also called as the sahastra junction yeah so you see when the energy reaches here you you are in pure bliss you see a lot of lotus and all that flowers you are you are kind of in blossom you know? right and or if i show you on the right right yeah. Yeah. these are the junctions you know from from the lowest part right yeah. which uh, which is the base of the spine right and uh, the lowest part also has is this the the center of cosmic energy we all of us have which is also called as kundalini but it is also called it is called kundalini only when it starts moving when you are working on that okay right? so yeah. 
you when the energy starts moving from here penetrating all these junctions and reaching here every time it jumps you become a totally different person every time it jumps you transform so this kind of yoga is all about about transformation it's if i if you ask me what is yoga i will say that yoga is all about bringing magic into our life all right so everyone who want to bring magic in your in your life right mm -hmm. they should go for this right we are not saying that you are not doing asana asana is also important because right. that will that will kind of purify you that will take away all the restrictions you know like if you are not doing asana if i ask you to sit quietly to 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 feel the movement you will not be able to sit so when you are not able to sit then you are not able to experience all this so that is also important yes so basically that yoga what generally is popular today is for your health your physical being and what you are talking yes. is about it's for the soul it's it's i as i told you that it not only manifests in soul yeah. it also manifests in in physical body physical body. right if oh. you if you see most of the yogis right you know there's a kind of glow on your on your face which yeah. that kind of yoga will never bring this kind of yoga will bring glow to your face oh. right all right yes all right. whatever you are you know it will bring you you have to glow this is all about you know uh, glowing or you know? it's all about being in blossom so this that yoga has limitations this yoga is it bring experiencing the the the, the horizons it's, it's all about exploring the universe you know mm -hmm. outside and inside you know in in, in our uh, vedic systems we used to say that what is up there is in yeah. here and what is in here is up there yeah. right? right so even when you go high up yeah. when you are going in there in in yourself with this yoga you are mm -hmm. at the same time you are going up there as well from a layman's perspective how uh, much possible it is for masses to follow what you are doing at their home now yoga can be done you know physical yoga can be done asanas can be done at home so when you teach somebody about the soul and the cosmic body so can that be practiced at home by masses of course of course you know let let me uh, let me tell you about about the the basic misunderstanding in all kind of yoga everyone has it right, right? all of us you know all of humans are are basically uniquely different anatomically and metabolically we are totally different i will not the, the one thing which which is good for me might not good for you for okay anything. or somebody else right. so one kind of us now one kind of thing is which is good for me cannot be good for the whole world all right yep right what we we tell our our, our seekers who come to our ashram to do all these courses and all that right we tell them that you had to write your own book mm -hmm. you had to write your own bible you had to write your own gita right mm -hmm. one thing which is good for me will not be good for you so Absolutely. while you are doing all these things you had to 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 explore that okay when i did this what kind of effect i had it's like like having an orange you know if i have an orange and you have an orange yeah. right yeah it you might have feel good about uh, good after having orange but i will not have feel good about after having your orange so orange. you I, i might feel better up with the orange or a banana so one thing which is good for you is not good for me Absolutely. so all of us have to to go further right we don't don't have to just follow some 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 yoga teacher or some guru is saying yoga is all about writing your own own book you know oh, you yeah. had to to okay. see and then you had to find that this is good for me and i come to your question that whether they can do at home they can do at home better you know than than doing outside or they can for the kind of yoga we we are sharing right which is the second level of asana is you need a place to sit just to sit you know you need just a two by two square foot place to just to sit you can do it in the uh, while you are traveling you can do it by on train you can do it you can do on flights it's all about just closing the outer world and just to be in the inner world in okay and you you can do it better at home all right all right rajiva tell me uh, a young boy 
from Rishikesh, who started uh, playing with the at the banks of Ganga, and uh, who finally did a master's in uh, chemistry, okay, became a scientist, and then finally sitting here today in front of me as a yoga guru. How this transformation yeah. happened? I tell you, you know, Rishi, when in my childhood, Rishikesh Rishi was a very, very small town, you know. Right. And uh, the best part was that the Ganga was flowing through it. And most of our, our childhood was, was, was along the Ganga, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, then uh, that gave me chance. My childhood gave me chance to speak to a lot of, lot of yogis and babas on the bank who used to come from all over the world and sit on the banks of the bank. So they, it gave me opportunity. And that time there was no TV, there was nothing, you know. Absolutely. We, our, our time used to be most of the time along the river swimming. Every day I used to swim across and come back, right? And play around the ashrams and all that. And then when I did my master's, then I, I joined a, a British company as, as an R&D scientist. And then after one year, you know, I realized that if you want to be happy, you have to be close to the nature, you know. Absolutely. So that uh, that I understood. So then I, I, I went to Delhi and I joined one of the leading company in the world, Adventure Company. Okay. So I worked there. I worked there for five years, and that gave me opportunity to tra travel all over India, doing trekking, climbing peaks, doing safaris, doing running down the rivers, all right. and all kind of adventure for people from world over. Yeah. And that gave me more, more, more opportunity to be in nature and to be to be in the wilderness right and that have have created a path on me and then i came back and i started our own travel company adventure company okay. we are still the the biggest adventure company in the area right we, right. we our, our bread and butter is still climbing peaks and trucking and running the rivers and ski down the peaks and all that that is still there all right, right? but now uh, as an individual, my time is mostly uh, trying to explore all, all this kind, this kind of, of the right kind of yoga. I would say rather. Okay. Right? And this then uh, for last uh, many years, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I started. I did my advanced course something around thirty years back, or even even before. Okay. Right. Okay. But uh, we just did it, right? But now when I. I was trying to learn this right kind of yoga, right? When I sit every day, four o'clock in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. You enter into it, you create your own word, you know? And every day you, you, when you are sitting at home and then you are trying to be yourself, when you are trying to do this yoga, yeah. you, you, you enter into a new word which you have created for yourself. All right. And you can even travel in time you know, on this. You can, you can see things coming to, to yourself. You can see, the events coming, you can see the people coming in your life. All right. All right. right. And let me explain you about your interview. Me yes. and my, I was telling about my daughter something on 15 days about, about that I'm trying to see an interview coming in. I, I'm not joking. Okay. <laughs> okay. So after a few days, you called. All okay? right. Okay. So this is all about, about reaching what you are destined for. You know, all of us, in, as uh, being Indian, you must have known that there are. Uh, uh, 84 you know, mm -hmm. uh, million uh, lives one has to go through in India yes. to, to, yeah. Yeah. to be conceived as a human. Yeah. So we never understand that, that how important this human life is. Right? This human life is all about not only transforming physically or, or this, this is also the transformation of your soul. Absolutely. On a very higher level. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. So what I see at the background, what you just explained, the two paintings, are they done by you? Of course. Uh, so you know, when my, uh, okay. my energy has started moving up, yeah. right, in 2000, 2015, right, I was, uh, I suddenly started painting, you know, and I painted and painted and painted. And in 2016, one of our paintings were, were among the top 100 paintings of, of Europe and, and Poland, right? And right. they invi right. invited me there to one of the finest gallery there. Oh. I, I wish I could show you that painting, but it's, it's somebody has already bought it in Germany, so it's in Germany, okay. right? So, uh, so you start behaving according to the, that junction, you know? So when you are on a higher up, you know, 
like like my energy is, is, is now moved to the higher level right, right? right, right. It, when your energy is here you are known for your voice you know and okay uh uh when your energy is at the higher level right mm -hmm. then you you as i told you that you are known for a voice like people have distinct voices like uh, okay. our prime minister mr modi you know if he's uh, you are listening and you say oh mr modi yep. like the barack obama you know they speak from their soul it keeps coming you know they never see the paper and you, they never see this thing right when right. you have when you reach that level yeah right yeah. so you are directly plugged into your soul and then yeah. you are just going you'll never see all these people uh, watching the paper or doing any exactly. preparations exactly. and exactly. right so when your energy this only happens when your energy reaches here right. yes. and then when your energy reaches here you mm -hmm. start going beyond the self you know you start going completely beyond the self and then you are your life is for others like 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 a lot of people who are doing all these charities and you are they are doing a lot of things you know that only happens when your energy is, is stationed there when your energy is here you are known for your voice like you can also tell that that barack obama who has a, his energy is stationed here has not done yoga all his life but right. i come to the same point with that we are born with with the energy stationed at one of these junctions okay depending okay. on the on our past lives on mm -hmm. our karmas of our past lives Okay. And then the goal is here, like the Buddha, the right when the energy reaches here in the topmost part, right. you are you are enlightened, completely enlightened, you know. And then you are not for yourself; you are for for the whole world. You are for the humanity, like like the Buddha. Right. So this is all about moving the energy upwards from the from. Most of us have our energy stationed at the lower junctions, okay. right? And then you start moving it up, moving it up, and then when it reaches here. Every time it, it jumps to the next station, you start behaving and transforming according to that junction. Or you, trans you are transformed and you behave according to that junction. Right. Rajiva, if uh, you are a painter, you are an entrepreneur, and you are a yoga guru. So if you were not yoga guru, what you, would you have been? Uh, that's a very good question, you know. <laughs> then, in, like, like uh, we are all Brahmins, you know, and... A, a, a duty of Brahmin is to teach, to teach the society. You know? right. So then, like like my father and like most of, of my family, you know, okay. we would have been, I would have been a teacher or a magician. So now, my energy to a higher level, I'm uh -huh. trying to be a magician. I'm behaving like a magician. <laughs> okay. So okay. I'm okay. I'm trying to learn music these days. Right. So hopefully next time uh, when. Uh, Inshallah, if you take an interview uh, after a few years, maybe we will start with a song and all. <laughs> Rajiv Bada, the musician. It transformed. It transformed. You know. Another transformation. All right. Rajiva, it, in half an hour, I'm sure uh, it's very difficult to you know summarize everything. But I would request exactly. you, if you could, in a couple of minutes, you could show some kind of given kind of example, uh, practical example. How do you? do your kind of yoga i tell you yeah. one of the very basic thing from where we start like every one of us uh, does this home yeah. right yeah. and at the same time we are we are doing om namah shivaya or people are doing om om right. om right. 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 and, and that's a very mechanized thing you know they are doing so to move the energy upwards you know thousands of years before they, they invented the sound, Om, oh, you know, and as a lot of uh, gurus like Guru Nanak, you know, uh, he said, Ek Omkar, you know, that the Omkar was there, when nothing was there, it's, it's here, and it's going to be there, and nothing will be there, okay. right? So Om is, the, so is the, the most important thing, you know, and it was there before the life in right. the universe, right. right? So when people say Om, right, that time, thousands of years before, it was invented to move this energy up. Okay. Right. It's it's not just Om. You no. Know? It's Om is is, is 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 the sound of three junctions. It is the sound of Navi. It is the sound of Vishuddhi. Okay. It is the sound of third eye. So when we do Om, right, mm -hmm. and the sound of Navi is like uh, I can go for for many seconds. So to 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 shorten it, then the the sound of of Visuddhi, the higher junction, and then the sound 
sound of the Sudhi is oh, and you have to go oh, and the sound of, of the third eye. Right. There's no third eye there, but it's, it's a junction here, high density, super junction. Right? And, the, and you do the sound of, of the third eye, it's called Ajna. And you are humming like, like a bee. Mm -hmm. mm. Just if you do this, you will feel vibrations here. Right? If you are doing this, oh, you will have your, your throat contracting, you'll have vibrations here. And then when you are doing, uh, your, your nabi will contract like this, this, this painting here, right? When you are doing, uh, you, you start gathering energy from all over the, the lower abdomen and then you will throw it up, right? So when you do, try it, uh, it's for the, your viewers that if you are there doing all, yeah, yeah. and divide into three parts and then feel this energy moving up, right? Then the, you, they can do, uh, And one day, once they do it two, three times, they'll feel something moving up. Moving up. Okay. Yes. And from there, they can start. And uh, sometime again, when you have more time and for, for mm -hmm. some other workshop, we'll try to explain people that there are deeper and higher techniques. But this is this, the basic at the same time. It's very super technique. Okay. And they invented a cord for this to move the energy up. Right. So people to start with can can just sit in the corner, try to 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 meditate, and uh, with us meditation is all about going beyond the body and beyond the mind. Right. So slowly, slowly, when they 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 are doing this, they can start going beyond the body and beyond the mind, so that meditation might happen to them. People say that I've done meditation for two hour, one hour. Mm -hmm. Meditation is something that you cannot do. Meditation is not a human activity, you know. We, our brain is super, you know, busy in this thing. You cannot, uh, so, but when you are prepared, when you are preparing well, mm -hmm. meditation might start happening to you. It can happen to you if you are prepared, if you know things. If you say, you're saying that I was meditating, um, no. Okay. You can say that I was prepared, I was preparing, and someday this started happening to me. Oh. So, uh, they can start from here. Uh, as of now and then later maybe you know maybe we can. Uh, they can visit us or you can organize a, a, a longer workshop right and then we can go from there right right so there is a lot to talk anyway so we leave it for the next time and thank exactly. you very much rajba for your time and hope it was you. such a pleasure to to be with you to be with your guest and uh, peace for everyone and transformation to everyone. That's our birthright to be transformed. Oh, Scott. Thank you very much.